R9W is motion to rescind resolution 2017, Ocean Drive Sidewalk Cafe guidelines requested by Commissioner Aleman. Okay. Um, Commissioner, do you want to speak or someone? Yeah, I just, I, that's why I brought this for discussion to see if we can have a, um, a repeal of this. Uh, and this is what happens, folks. We pass a law to address a problem. The person affected hires a lobbyist. They come lobby the commission, and then we undo our vote. So I want to stick to this until such time as we've got an ocean drive cleaned up, and we can always revisit this. So we're either going to hold our guns and mean what we say, that we're going to try to clean up ocean drive and problem areas, or we're not. We're going to allow lobbyists to get us to undo our votes and our positions. And I'm not addressing that that to to anyone in particular on this dais. It's just kind of that's the way things work. So I'm going to stick to my guns on this one. If you guys want to rescind, rescind. But I think it's important that we be consistent with what we vote on. Right. Okay. We're each going to say a few words. Hold on. I just want to agree with what Commissioner Ariola said 100%. This is part of the whole cleanup effort of Ocean Drive. Um, there's 50 million reasons why this one should have larger tables and that one should be this and da 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 and this and that. And I'm sure these are wonderful people that own it. Matter of fact, I got a dozen calls and a rabbi called me and everyone called me. You know, the hardest thing in life I've always learned in this game is to say no. And um, uh, I'm sure that. Uh, There'll be a new commission here, and you may have one or two commissioners that I can assure you uh, will absolutely bend to the lobbyists in the city. So whether it doesn't pass this month, uh, I have a funny feeling that when myself and Commissioner Malikoff are gone, uh, I could almost guarantee that, uh, Alex, you'll probably have success in changing whatever you want to change because uh, um, the wheel is always round. And, uh, and I know that will happen. And we know how the game works, and we know how everyone gets to everybody else. And that's the reason why we put this, uh, this question to the people of uh, Miami Beach. Because, um, you know, commissioners and mayors uh, can be persuaded through financial means and campaign contributions and lobbyists and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the people of Miami Beach can't. And that's why I think we have the good fortune allowing the people of Miami Beach to decide on their on the liquor limit. Um, but so we're a community. We're a community of people who live here. They were born here. They own commercial interests here. Many of them elected us to sit up here. And we are supposed to be the voice of reason, compassion, um, set the standard in being fair. I have not taken a penny from the Starlight Hotel. This is not somebody who who does business in our community, who I respect and who I consider a friend. So when she calls me horrified that she didn't even know that her family's business is being put out of business because of some sort of interpersonal conflict that is taking place up here on this dais, you can imagine how upsetting it is and embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Mm, interpersonal Let's, conflict over Ocean Drive. Okay. Interpersonal conflict? I think there was one. Over okay. Ocean and I Drive. think no, it's I think you and I think that this is a what I'm asking right now is for this commission to stop, take a breath before we put people out of business. You have a discussion, you go to them, you 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 have a dialogue and you don't just put people out of yeah. business. Because there is no other way architecturally for them to have these outdoor cafes. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm not finished speaking. Go ahead, go and ahead. I do not interrupt anybody. And these businesses give back to the community. They give back via the Chamber of Commerce. They give back to education. They give to every single nonprofit in Miami Beach who goes to They're not going to be able to anymore. So apart from these people losing their jobs, the community is suffering over this interpersonal conflict. So I would love for you, Mayor Levine, to show some compassion okay. and to repeal and rescind this. Okay, thank you, Commissioner, Please. very much. I, I had no idea that they were losing their property. I, I didn't know that uh, they were just operators. So they, 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 they don't own those buildings themselves. Uh, Mayor, I'm sorry, Alex Tatsmas for the record. I said business. David Mulrad is here. Right. They own the building and they get revenue from the sidewalk cafe operations. Oh, so if it has to close, it's they tenant. go out of business. Um, oh, but you're saying the owners that called us, they're going to lose their buildings? Uh, We're taking no, no, their buildings? No, you're talking about Voodoo Lounge. I'm here on behalf of Star, Starlight and but, the Mulrad family. But the owners that own their building, because I know I own a lot of buildings on my beach, and, you know, if there's a tenant issue that somehow is restricting the tenant, Alex, it doesn't mean that they're actually the, I'm losing our buildings, Okay. So the hardship you're talking about is the hardship, for example, that the officer that was run over by a car felt, or the issues we have on Ocean Drive has felt, or the major properties, the brand damage to our city has felt, the issues of Ocean Drive and what we're trying to clean up. That's the heartfelt symphony, Commissioner, that I really have 
Uh, and I understand if a few tenants have to somehow accommodate these new rules, but the owners of these buildings, from what I understand, the city's not doing something to actually seize their properties. So this wonderful sob story that you're telling me uh, is adorable. It's cute. It really, really is. I just had no idea that we were seizing people's properties. It's the and truth. We're not, and we're not seizing people's properties. I didn't say. I this said was, putting people out of business. I said putting people out of commissioner, business. Do not put words in my mouth, Mayor Levine. We're not putting people out of business. Okay? Yes, you are. Commissioner, we're not putting people out of business. You can put your tables inside. You can push them to the west. Or if for some reason it doesn't make economic sensibility in the future, then somehow there'll have to be another location. However, however, the fact of the matter is this is a vote, okay? I know how I'm voting. I'm voting to clean up Ocean Drive. You can vote any way you want, and I respect Commissioner Aliman, and I respect what she wants to do, and she can vote how she wants. And by the way, I may lose this vote. That's fine with me. I just think it's the wrong thing, okay? And I'm going to vote my conscience the same way that I made sure we put the 2 a.m. on Ocean Drive so the people of Miami Beach can, can decide. Do they, want to have, do, they want to have, do they want to continue to have crime and to be known as the Ocean Drive, the crime capital, to damage the brand of this city of Miami Beach? Do we want to spend police resources on that street for a few operators to sell liquor from 2 to 5 a.m.? I think no. But the people of Miami Beach are going to decide, okay? And that's what this is about. Now, as far as this issue is concerned... You all have a free vote up Mr. here. Mayor, could, you can all decide what you want to do. I, I just want to be clear on, right on why the values on, uh, on Ocean Drive have skyrocketed. So the, the building owners that are lobbying us are saying that their businesses are going to go out of business. Actually, their tenants are the ones who are potentially impacted by this, but not the building owners that are lobbying us. Everyone in the room has the same objectives. We just may not all agree on how to get there. But I, but I really do believe we have the same objectives. And, um, you know, for the candidates that are out there watching – you know, this kind of issue is why it's so important that we argue the issues. Um, you know, I didn't put this on the agenda because I'm bending to lobbyists. I didn't put this on the agenda because I'm bending to lobbyists. I didn't put this on the agenda. Um, you know, I didn't put this on the agenda because I'm bending to lobbyists. I didn't put this on the agenda um, for any other reason than I'm not sure. I believe that Commissioner Steinberg is a swing vote. I haven't heard from her. I don't know where she stands on this. I'm certainly prepared to make my motion to repeal. It's going to pass. So I'll, I think it's going to pass. I I'll can make the motion right to repeal and rescind. Uh, you want to vote on it, everybody? All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. 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 And so, Mr. Mayor, this is how the temporary plan gets killed, death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, of course. And this is why the 2 a.m. is important, because 100%. today it was the sidewalk ordinance, and then it's the noise ordinance, then it's the awning, and every little business comes and kills you with a 1,000 cuts. And so we get nothing done to address the reason we're even discussing this, which is crime on Ocean Drive. And so you have to bring in draconian measures like a 2 a.m. rollback, because everything you try to do to contain the problem and address the problem gets sliced and diced. I agree with